Hello, hello, hello. I'm seeing some people already. Hello. We'll wait for some more people to join as always. Hi, Sheetal, Lavanya, Mini, Yash, Ai, Chitra, Atma Namaste, Anupama, hello, happy Guru Purnima to you too, Nita, hi. Yes, happy Guru Purnima. Happy Guru Purnima to everybody. Nana, hello. I'm so glad. Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I'm seeing some new people as well. Namaste. Natasha, hi. Yes, lots of love on Guru Purnima. Maya, hello Maya, hello Aditi, hello Aruna, we'll wait for a minute or two and then we'll begin. Natasha, it's a so for those of you who have joined in for the first time, geographically I'm in Bangalore and it's raining. I've spent the last 20 minutes practically hanging out of my balcony trying to spot the moon because how can I do the full moon meditation unless I have seen the moon myself? So yes, it's a beautiful, beautiful full moon. So it's a super full moon today. What's a super full moon? Super moon is when the moon is so close to the earth that you feel you can almost touch it. So for those of you who are in places where the skies are clear, don't miss it. If you haven't already seen it, once this meditation is over, please go outside and you'll actually feel that you can hug the moon today. So hello Anu. Yeah, yeah, but in most of the country, it's playing peekaboo right now. Also wreaking some havoc in some places with flash floods. So we will pray for all those who need our prayers. In fact, I, you know, at uh, every meditation session, I always uh, say that let us dedicate the benefits, the merits of our meditation, not just for ourselves, but also to the world. So today, can we dedicate the merits of our meditation whatever positive energy we generate from this meditation to all those who are suffering with too much rain right now in, in this country and in other parts of the world as well. And so it is. All right, let's begin. So like I said, super full moon, it's in Capricorn. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about the energies of the moon today. Let me just say that if at this point of time, you are not feeling fulfilled. You feel that there is a part of you that is still incomplete or there is some work or why am I not fully happy? There's this gnawing feeling in my heart. Then this full moon will shine the light on where you are sabotaging your own happiness. So it's a moon that's going to put the floodlight on our own self-sabotaging behaviors. And we all do that. We are either kicking ourselves or we are turning a blind eye to spaces or areas within us that need work. We're doing one of the two. We are rarely saying, okay, I'm the hero of my own story. I'm sabotaging myself. What can I do to change this? So this moon is a good opportunity for you to see where your behaviors, your patterns, your beliefs are not working for your highest good. 
and what you can do to change them. So the energy will be a little heavy. It's not easy. It's a mirror that it's it's a moon that's showing you the mirror. So what do I do when my energy is heavy? I kind of go back inside and connect to that light within me. The lightness that exists not just within me but within all of us. To that guru within me. And it is so appropriate that this full moon is a Guru Purnima full moon. A moon when we take time to say thank you to all our teachers. And teachers are not just in physical form. They are in astral form. They are in the form of experiences. They are in the form of other people who we may not like too much. But they've come to our life to teach us something. But all those gurus who are outside me can do their best for me, but it will not work unless I connect with the Guru inside me. So today I am again going to borrow a meditation from Baba Ramdas's library. I am, uh, I really love reading um, Baba Ramdas and uh, also love listening to music by Krishna Das, both of them followers of uh, Neem Karoli Baba. I had shared another meditation from uh, Baba Ramdas's library in November 2021, Alchemy of the Heart. So those of you who've missed it, you may want to go to my YouTube channel and look it up. I had also shared Baba Ramdas's story there. So if you're interested, you can head there after this meditation and look that up as well. So this is from Baba Ramdas. Let's not spend any more time talking. Let's just jump right in. So as always, let's begin by settling down our breath. Can I ask you to please settle down in a comfortable position? Let us use this time together and this incredible energy to really deeply listen to the Guru within, to connect with the Guru within. And let's also use this energy to experience that connectedness a little deeper. So please close your eyes and bring your attention to your breath. Watching it as it goes in and out. in and out. With every breath you go deeper and deeper and deeper into a space of relaxation. There's just you and your breath. Thoughts don't bother you anymore. If they come, you are now able to let them just float by like clouds. As you bring your attention back to your breath. And as you go deeper and deeper and deeper into the space of relaxation, you feel a deep sense of abiding calm, abiding peace. You have nowhere to go, nothing to do. Just here and now, this time that you've taken for yourself, with yourself. Now, in your mind's eye, I want you to imagine at a far away distance a Buddha-like being sitting in a cross-legged 
position maybe on a lotus you can't see the face of that figure you can only see the light it's a being of light and you're able to see the silhouette the shadow of that being of light sitting far away glowing emanating beautiful radiant light from that being of light you feel so much love and compassion emanating now imagine that there is a broad highway of blue light that stretches from the being to your heart and this being is floating closer and closer and closer to your heart very gently still in the lotus position still sitting on a lotus just gently this light is floating towards your heart and you feel so much light inside you so much love you can't explain this there's no judgment you just feel that and slowly you feel that this being has entered your heart and is sitting inside your heart as you feel that compassion that love still overflowing from that being into you now this being in your heart starts growing within the light just expands 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 still the shape of this being conforms to the shape of your body it's like you're wearing a glove inside your body this whole being has filled up every cell every pore every muscle every nerve every bone every tendon every sinew of your body so that this guru's body has become your body this master's shoulder is your shoulder his head is your head till you are one he is you and you are him filled with light filled with love filled with compassion now feel what it feels to be permeated by a being of total compassion the compassion to see the entire universe in its totality without any judgment fully with all its polarities without any attachments just allowing it to be not demanding just seeing the whole universe in its all utter perfection filled with compassion now feel what it feels like to be diffused to be completely permeated with a being of pure light because that's what you've become you've become a being of pure light experiencing yourself as pure light in your mind's eye i want you to see how you are 
sitting there or lying there, glowing. Every cell of your body filled with light. And the incredible lightness of being you feel right now. Light which is emanating from inside you, which is going through every pore of your body, through your eyes, through your toes, through your fingertips, just light pouring and pouring out of you. Now remember that this being who has permeated your body is also pure love. So what does it feel like to be imbued with just pure love? Filled with just pure love. What does it feel like? Do you feel that you are love? I want you to feel that. Just be love for a few seconds. Just be love. That's all. That's all. You are love. Because this being has taken over. And you have become him. So you are love. And feel that love coming out of every part of your being. permeated with total consciousness, pure consciousness. Just feel what it feels like for a few seconds. So while you are sitting there, you are experiencing this body of light, of love, of compassion, of pure consciousness. It's just pulsating and throbbing through you. But the physical body which it is permeating can be so limiting, right? How can anything limit pure love and consciousness? So allow all this to flow out of you and to let it grow bigger and bigger. It's coming out of your body and it's just expanding, expanding, expanding around you. Growing, growing, growing in size. This light, this love, this consciousness that is pouring out of you. And as it expands, 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 it starts including within its ambit your home your city your country and you're growing in size you're just expanding you're a being of pure light of pure love of pure consciousness and just encompassing everything within you everything this planet other planets the stars, the universe, everything is within you. Pura Brahmand aap mein samaya hai. The whole universe is within you. And when you look at it from there, there is no time. You're looking at it in all directions and you filled with this light, this love, this consciousness that encompasses the past, the future, everything you can think about in history, all the possibilities in the future, they're all inside you. You fill up everything, all your past stories, all your future possibilities. You bathe everything with this light.
you bring them all within yourself bathe all of it all of it there and all of it here with this self illuminating radiance this light and you can see within yourself the polarities within you is all the good and all the evil all the beauty and all the ugliness the yin and the yang everything is inside you and now of course you must also include me and i must include you so that in this place there is only one of us this voice this space is a part of what we are and within us within us all the laws of the universe are reflected so if i am it all then the word i has no more meaning if i am you and you are me then where is the i there is no i just here and now and the isness of being just being the planet still move your heart still beats and within it all the universe is manifested look within yourself there are there is the part of you that started this meditation that has a name that has a personality you called yourself by that name you identified yourself with those characteristics and there is this part of you which has the entire universe within the past the future the present the stars the galaxies everything inside it just observe this curiosity for a few seconds this part of you that has an identity and this part of you that just is part of you that thinks it's a personality look at its dance in life look at all the problems that that part thinks it has look at all the plans it makes look at the desires and it has desires because it doesn't realize that tatvam masi that it is that and bring these two parts together integrate them into one light beam filled with compassion filled with love deep 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 inside who you truly are one you are not two parts you are one sat chit anand that's who you are sat chit anand truth existence bliss and it's all integrated like streams of water swirling together or like lights merging into each other both you not separate but one you and your inner guru you and your inner light when you see you see with the eyes of the guru when you hear you hear with the ears of the guru and when you speak you speak with the grace of the guru mukam karoti vachalam by his grace and who is that his grace that we are talking about here 
it's inside you that grace that guru that dispeller of darkness resides within you and is you just stay with that experience with this idea for a few seconds of you being sat chit anand now ever so gently start experiencing your physical body slowly come back to becoming more aware of your physical surroundings but at the same moment remember as you enter into this world of separateness keep in mind the identity of your guru keep in mind where your guru dwells where he resides within you and how you can listen to him access him at any time you want and as we proceed through the pages of the book of our life this grand novel that this grand saga that we are going through always remember that in our hearts sit our guru that our guru god self they are all one whenever you wherever you think you go your guru goes whatever you think your guru thinks whatever you do your guru does whoever you meet in him resides your guru because there is no separate there is all one wherever you look whatever you see everything is guru let me share this beautiful poem by sant kabir ya ghat bhitar bag bagiche ya hi me sirjan hara dhoonde re dhoonde andhiyara in this body endless gardens and the creator of the gardens also in this body but you search in the dark या घट भीतर सात समुंदर या ही में नौलख तारा ढूंढे रे ढूंढे अंधियारा इन दिस बॉडी द सेवन ओशंस इन दिस बॉडी द नाइन बिलियन स्टार्स बट वी सर्च इन द डार्क या घट भीतर हीरा और मोती या ही में परखन हारा ढूंढे रे ढूंढे अंधियारा इन दिस बॉडी ट्रेजर्स एंड ज्वेल्स द नोर ऑफ रिचेज also in this body and yet you search in the dark ya ghat bhitar anhad garje ya hi me uthat fawara dhoonde re dhoonde andhiyara in this body the sound of the universe the fountains of elation in this body and yet you search in the dark kahe kabir suno bhai sadho kabir says listen seekers या ही में गुरु है हमारा ढूंढे रे ढूंढे हंधियारा द गुरु टू इज इन माय बॉडी व्हाई एम आई सर्चिंग फॉर इट इन द डार्कनेस आई वांट यू टू लीव दिस मेडिटेशन विद दिस थॉट दैट द गुरु इज विद इन मी एंड आई डोंट नीड टू सर्च इन द डार्क एनी मोर ब्रिंगिंग योर अटेंशन बैक टू योर ब्रेथ when we are ready please open your eyes thank you for meditating with me so those of you who want to listen to this bhajan by kabir uh, it's available on youtube it has been sung by uh, the isha foundation people as well as by vipul rikhi those of you who attended some of my meditations know that i've shared even before about kabir project and vipul rikhi and shabnam virmani so you may want to look them up 
on YouTube. Some beautiful bhakti music available there and also some very good uh, documentaries about bhakti in India, especially Kabir. And that's what I want to leave you with. I want to leave you with these words. Khat Kabir suno bhai sadho yahi mein guru hai hamara dhundhe re dhundhe andiyara. I'm looking in the dark. I'm a seeker and I'm looking in the dark when he is in my body. He exists within me. I hope we all take some time to find him inside us. Talk to him more often. Could be a her also. My politically correct teenage daughter will say it can be a they also. So I'll leave it to you. What gender you want to ascribe. Or maybe there is no gender at all. But the Guru is what we pay homage to today. All those countless people who touched our lives. But it would be incomplete if we did not pay homage to the Guru within us. So the Guru within me bows to the Guru within you. Stay blessed.